the Black Freedom Movement and the healthcare activism is tying itself explicitly to communist revolutions in Cuba and China um, and to radical healthcare work in those places. For new health equity and anti-racist work to succeed, nursing and healthcare must confront and disrupt the dynamics of racism that persist at every level. Thanks, Dr. Gatchel. That was uh, that was a really brilliant presentation, very powerful, and with a lot of um, relevance and poignance for uh, ongoing efforts to uh, introduce, expand, um, implement anti-racist education in nursing today. So, so thank you. As Pat's comment earlier uh, indicated, I mean that kind of resistance within the, the persistence of racism within nursing and kind of the real. The profound discomfort that many white nurses face um, it, it, when confronted with the history and ongoing experiences of racism in nursing. I'm just wondering if it might help Ellen and her work if she saw the comments we got to that paper we did on the history of um, racism in nursing. Yeah, yeah, I can certainly share those with you, Cor Ellen. I will, yeah, absolutely, because <laughs> it's alive and well. The disproportionate structural power of white discomfort repeatedly undermined and derailed efforts to challenge racism in nursing and healthcare services in the 1970s. By the 1980s, more radical anti-racist efforts within healthcare had largely ceded ground to ostensibly colorblind power negating models such as cultural competence that did not pose the same threat to white comfort. This was a really um, powerful and provocative presentation. Uh, it's really um, fantastic work. Thank and you. as uh, Fatimata mentioned, like it have of ongoing relevance for nursing students today. So um, just thank you. And I look forward, or I think many of us look forward to uh, seeing your work develop and being able to, I'm looking forward to being able to assign more of your work to my students. So thank you, Dr. Gatchel. <laughs> Today, health equity and anti-racism in healthcare are operating in new or newly highlighted contexts. A global pandemic, a black ma maternal mortality crisis, a syndemic of mental illness and uh, substance use disorder, but the pattern of weaponizing white discomfort, especially within ostensibly progressive spaces, has not changed. Nor has the outsized power granted to whiteness and white comfort by racialized systems, including professionalism and academia, as well as the nonprofit industrial complex.